Hi, in this video we're going to get our microbit chip and turn it into a sort of game of um, heads or tails. So when you flip a coin and it comes down heads or tails, um, I use that to make decisions. So I say, what do I want to do? Do I want to do this or that? I flip a coin, uh, comes down heads, ah, oh, no, I don't feel good about it what it's telling me to do. So I then know what I have to do. I have to do the other thing. Whereas if it comes down and I think, oh yeah, I'm okay with that, then I'll know that I've made the right decision. That's just me. Anyway, um, so we're going to make our micro bit uh, into a, a heads or tails coin flip. So the input I'm going to use, not starter forever, I'm going to use um, on shake. The shake is a bit like, you know, flipping a coin. So what happens when it, when it shakes? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is get a variable to store the result of the coin toss. So I'm going to go down to variables, make a variable, and I'm going to call it coin toss. Okay, and I'm going to set coin toss to, well, I could go several ways. I could make it a random number, naught or one, and then if it's a naught, it's a random naught or one. So whenever I shake it, it sets a random naught or one. And then if it's a naught, I do its heads. If it's a one, I do tails. Or I could use Boolean variables. Boolean means uh, not numbers or string or anything. It's true or false, true or false. So I'm going to use that. So I go down to math, and you'll notice one thing I've got is pick random. No, that's not the one. I need pick random true or false. There we go. So I drop that in there. So coin toss is now set to a random true or false. It's either going to say true or it's going to say false. And then I need to go down to logic. And I need that if and the else. So if, uh, if the coin toss, toss is saying true, then let me make it heads. Otherwise, if it's saying false, it must say uh, tails. So I need in my logic, I need the this equals that. So if coin toss, so I go and get that variable there. Do you know that that happens every single time? So if coin toss equals true, obviously I could make it false, then it's going to display as an LED and I'll put uh, heads there. Okay, otherwise, it's going to show tails. Right, well, that should work. So we just shake it. It makes a variable called coin toss. I pick either the Boolean true or false. And then if the coin toss is, is equal to true, then it'd be heads. Otherwise, in other words, it must be false. It'll set to, to uh, tails. So if now it's picked, I shake it again, now it becomes either true or false. Let's say it's false this time, then it's not true, so it'll go straight down to false and do tails. So let me test that. Okay, I've got a tails, let me shake again, tails again, tails again, hits, tails, and I'm clicking multiple times, I'm getting kind of random heads and tails. So it seems to work. Well, simple little program, but, um, Quite useful when you need to make decisions.